Good day to you. I'm going to talk to you about something that's been swept under the rug for far too long. It affects millions, yet remains hidden in plain sight. It's the silent career killer, age discrimination. Now, you might ask, what exactly is age discrimination? Simply put, it's treating someone unfairly based on their age. Imagine a skilled worker, decades of experience under their belt, being passed over for a promotion simply because they are considered too old. Or a vibrant, capable professional being shown the door, deemed past their prime. This, my friends, is the harsh reality of age discrimination. It's an injustice that lurks in the shadows of hiring practices, promotion decisions, and even everyday workplace interactions. It's the assumption that with age comes decline, an assumption as inaccurate as it is unfair. But it's not just about fairness, though that's certainly a cornerstone. This issue has far-reaching consequences that impact individuals, businesses, and society as a whole. In this video, we'll shine a light on this often overlooked problem, examining its insidious nature and the profound impact it has on our lives. In today's rapidly evolving job market, age discrimination is more relevant than ever. We live in a time where experience is often undervalued, while the allure of youth is often overemphasized. This short-sightedness can cripple businesses, depriving them of the wisdom, knowledge, and stability that older workers bring to the table. The world's population is aging, and with it, the workforce. People are living longer, healthier lives, and many are choosing or are forced by circumstance to work well into their 50s, 60s and beyond. This demographic shift presents both challenges and opportunities, demanding a fundamental change in how we perceive and value older workers. Ignoring age discrimination is no longer an option. It's not just a matter of fairness, though that's paramount. It's about recognizing the immense value that experience brings. It's about fostering an inclusive work environment where individuals are judged not by the year they were born, but by their skills, dedication and potential. The consequences of neglecting this issue are far-reaching, impacting not just individuals, but the very fabric of our society. Over the next few minutes, we'll delve into the complexities of age discrimination, exploring its impact on the economy, society and individuals, We'll uncover the legal framework in place to combat this issue and examine the ethical and business imperatives for age diversity. Hear stories of resilience and determination and the inspiring work of organisations championing older workers' rights. Join me on this journey of understanding, awareness and action. Now, let's talk about what employers can and must do to prevent age discrimination in the workplace. It's not just a moral imperative, it's the law. In many countries, legislation like the Age Discrimination in Employment Act in the United States and the Equality Act in the United Kingdom makes it illegal to discriminate based on age. These laws are a crucial first step, but they're only as effective as their enforcement. Employers need to be proactive, not reactive. They must have clear, comprehensive policies in place that explicitly prohibit age discrimination in all aspects of employment, from recruitment to retirement. These policies should be more than just words on paper. They need to be woven into the very fabric of the company culture. Regular training programs for all staff, especially managers and HR personnel, are essential to ensure everyone understands their legal obligations and the importance of fostering an age-inclusive workplace. But legal compliance is just the beginning. Creating a truly inclusive environment requires a shift in mindset, a move away from simply avoiding legal repercussions towards embracing the value of diversity in all its forms, including age diversity. Ensuring equal opportunities in hiring. Age discrimination often appears in hiring. Experienced professionals struggle as younger candidates get hired. Employers must ensure a level playing field for all candidates. Use age-neutral language in job descriptions. Blind recruitment helps mitigate unconscious bias. Structured interviews ensure fairness and objectivity. Implementing these measures creates an inclusive hiring process.
nurturing experience, age-friendly training and development. Once hired, it's essential to ensure that employees of all ages have equal opportunities for growth and development. Unfortunately, older workers are often overlooked for training programmes and promotion opportunities deemed too close to retirement or resistant to new technologies. This couldn't be further from the truth. The fact is, older workers are just as capable of learning and adapting as their younger counterparts. They often bring a wealth of experience and knowledge to the table, making them invaluable assets in any learning environment. Employers need to move away from this outdated stereotype and create a culture that values lifelong learning for all employees. This means providing access to training programmes that are relevant to the changing needs of the workforce, regardless of age. It also means offering mentorship opportunities where older workers can share their knowledge and experience with younger colleagues, while also learning from the fresh perspectives of the next generation. By investing in the development of all employees, regardless of age, employers not only enhance the skills and knowledge of their workforce, but also foster a culture of inclusivity and respect, where everyone feels valued and supported. The power of mentorship, bridging the generational divide. Mentorship programmes can be incredibly beneficial in combating age discrimination and fostering a more inclusive workplace. These programmes can help bridge the generational divide, facilitating knowledge transfer between older and younger employees. Older workers can share their years of experience and wisdom, while younger employees can offer fresh perspectives and insights into new technologies and ways of working. Mentoring relationships can be formal or informal, but they should always be based on mutual respect and a willingness to learn from each other. Employers can play a vital role in facilitating these relationships by establishing formal mentorship programmes, providing training and support for mentors and mentees, and creating opportunities for intergenerational collaboration. The benefits of mentorship extend far beyond simply transferring knowledge. Mentorship can help build relationships, break down stereotypes, and create a more supportive and inclusive work environment for everyone. It's a win-win for both the individuals involved and the organisation as a whole. Retention, not rejection, creating a culture of value. Perhaps the most crucial aspect of combating age discrimination is creating a workplace culture that values experience, respects diversity and promotes inclusivity at all levels. This means moving away from a culture that prioritises youth and instead embraces the unique contributions of employees of all ages. It's about recognising that older workers bring a wealth of knowledge, experience and stability to the table. They've weathered economic storms, navigated industry shifts and witnessed technological advancements that younger generations are just beginning to grasp. This historical perspective is invaluable in today's rapidly changing world. Creating a culture of value means fostering open communication where employees of all ages feel comfortable sharing their ideas and perspectives. It means implementing flexible work arrangements that cater to the changing needs of an ageing workforce. And it means celebrating the contributions of older workers, recognising their achievements and valuing their continued commitment to the organisation. the ethical imperative. Why age discrimination is just plain wrong. Age discrimination isn't just illegal, it's morally reprehensible. Every individual, regardless of their age, deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. We rightly condemn discrimination based on race, religion, gender and sexual orientation. Age should be no different. It's time to recognize that ageism is a harmful form of discrimination. Beyond morals, the business case for an age-diverse workforce. Embracing age diversity isn't just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. It makes good business sense. Age-diverse teams are more innovative, productive and profitable. A 2020 report found age-diverse teams excel in creativity, decision-making and engagement. 
Older workers bring knowledge, experience and calm under pressure. An age-diverse workforce reflects a diverse customer base, understanding wider consumer needs. Experience as an asset. Tapping into untapped potential. Think about it. Who better to understand the needs of an aging population than those who are part of it? Who better to connect with customers from different generations than a team that reflects that generational diversity? Too often, companies focus on attracting young talent as if experience is a liability rather than an asset. This short-sighted approach ignores the tremendous value that older workers bring to the table. They're reliable, they're dedicated, and they possess a work ethic that's often hard to find in today's fast-paced world. Moreover, older workers often have a wealth of institutional knowledge. They understand the history of the company, the industry and the market in a way that newcomers simply can't. This knowledge is invaluable, especially in times of change or crisis. Instead of viewing older workers as a problem to be managed, companies should see them for what they are a valuable resource to be nurtured and utilised. By tapping into the untapped potential of older workers, companies can gain a competitive edge in today's rapidly changing marketplace. The price of age discrimination, it's not just ethical, it's economic. Skills and knowledge are lost. Age discrimination costs billions annually. It impacts health and well-being. Marginalising older workers devalues experience. Building a workplace where experience thrives. Create a workplace where experience thrives, age is celebrated and every employee feels valued. It starts with a shift in mindset. Age is an asset, not a limitation. Foster a culture of lifelong learning. Implement flexible work arrangements. Recognize and reward older workers' contributions. Challenge unconscious biases. Build a future where experience is valued and age is just a number. Now let's talk about the bottom line. Age discrimination isn't just wrong, it's bad for business. And in today's hyper-competitive global economy, businesses can't afford to make bad decisions. Study after study has shown a direct link between age diversity in the workplace and improved financial performance. A 2018 report by the Boston Consulting Group found that companies with above average diversity in their management teams reported 19% higher innovation revenues and 9% higher EBIT margins. That's right, embracing age diversity isn't just socially responsible, it's financially rewarding. Why is this? Well, experience matters. Older workers bring a wealth of knowledge, expertise and a proven track record of success. They've seen economic cycles come and go, they've navigated industry shifts and technological disruptions, they've learned from their mistakes and honed their skills over decades. This experience translates into better decision making, improved problem solving and a more resilient workforce. It's like having a seasoned captain at the helm, guiding the ship through rough waters with a steady hand. History is replete with examples of societies that flourished when they valued the contributions of their elders. Ancient Rome, for instance, revered its elder statesmen, recognizing their wisdom and experience as essential to the empire's stability and success. The Roman Senate, a body composed of elder patricians, provided guidance and counsel to the ruling consuls, their decisions shaping the course of Roman history for centuries. The respect accorded to these elder statesmen wasn't merely ceremonial. It was rooted in the understanding that their experience was an invaluable asset to the state. Similarly, during the Renaissance, the wisdom and patronage of elder artists, scientists and thinkers like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were instrumental in ushering in a golden age of creativity and innovation. These Renaissance masters, often in their later years, mentored younger apprentices passing down their knowledge and skills to the next generation. These historical examples underscore a timeless truth. Societies that value experience, that recognize the contributions of their older citizens, are more likely to thrive. 
They're more resilient, more innovative and more adaptable to change. Now, some might argue that older workers are stuck in their ways, resistant to change, and slow to adapt to new technologies. This is nothing more than a harmful stereotype, a myth that's been debunked time and again by research and real-world experience. A 2019 study published in the journal Nature found that older adults exhibit greater creativity and problem-solving abilities in complex tasks compared to their younger counterparts. The study's authors attributed this to the older adults' greater life experience and their ability to draw upon a wider range of knowledge and perspectives. Furthermore, the rise of the silver entrepreneur is a testament to the innovative spirit of older workers. Increasingly, we're seeing older individuals starting businesses, developing new technologies and disrupting industries with their creativity and ingenuity. The truth is, innovation knows no age limit. It's about curiosity, passion and a willingness to challenge the status quo. And these qualities are not the exclusive domain of the young. In fact, older workers, with their years of experience and their unique perspectives, often bring a fresh and invaluable approach to innovation. the pension time bomb, a ticking threat to economic stability. The ageing of the global population is one of the most significant demographic shifts in human history. People are living longer, healthier lives, and that's a good thing. However, it also presents economic challenges, particularly when it comes to pensions and social security systems. In many developed countries, the ratio of retirees to working age individuals is increasing, putting a strain on pension funds and social security systems. This pension time bomb is a ticking threat to economic stability. And one of the best ways to defuse it is to keep older workers engaged in the workforce for longer. By encouraging older workers to remain employed, we not only reduce the strain on social safety nets, but also benefit from their continued contributions to the economy. They pay taxes, they spend money, and they drive economic growth. Furthermore, by remaining active and engaged in the workforce, older workers maintain their skills, their social connections and their sense of purpose, all of which contribute to their overall well-being. Unlocking the power of multi-generational workforces. The future of work is multi-generational. Companies that fail to recognise this reality and adapt accordingly will find themselves at a distinct disadvantage. The key is to create workplaces that harness the strengths of each generation, fostering collaboration, knowledge transfer and mutual respect. Imagine a workplace where the energy and technological savvy of younger workers are complemented by the experience, wisdom and institutional knowledge of older workers. Imagine a workplace where mentorship programmes flourish, with older workers sharing their hard-earned lessons and younger workers introducing new ideas and perspectives. This is the power of a truly multi-generational workforce. It's about recognising that diversity in all its forms makes us stronger, more resilient and more innovative. It's about creating a workplace where everyone feels valued, respected and empowered to contribute their unique talents to the success of the team. the societal cost of ageism, eroding our collective wisdom. Now, age discrimination doesn't just hurt individuals and businesses, it harms society as a whole. When we devalue older workers, we devalue experience, wisdom, and the very fabric of our communities. It's like burning down a library filled with centuries of knowledge and insight. Think about it. Older adults are living repositories of history, culture, and shared human experience. They've witnessed firsthand the triumphs and tragedies that have shaped our world. They possess a depth of understanding and perspective that can only be gained through time and lived experience. When we marginalise older adults, we lose access to this invaluable wellspring of knowledge and wisdom. We create a society where the past is forgotten, the present is fragmented and the future is uncertain. As the American novelist Ernest Hemingway once said, 
Wisdom is the reward you get for a lifetime of listening when you'd have preferred to talk. Let's listen to our elders. Let's learn from their experiences, their mistakes and their triumphs. Let's tap into their wisdom and build a better future together. The intergenerational divide, bridging the gap, building bridges. One of the most damaging consequences of ageism is the widening of the intergenerational divide. When we create a society where different age groups are siloed from one another, we miss out on the richness and vitality that comes from intergenerational exchange. Think about the traditional extended family, where grandparents played an active role in the lives of their children and grandchildren. These intergenerational bonds provided a sense of continuity, belonging and shared history. Sadly, in today's increasingly fragmented society, these bonds are often strained or broken. Older adults may find themselves isolated, their skills and experience undervalued by a youth-obsessed culture. Younger generations, meanwhile, may lack the guidance and support of older mentors, their lives shaped by the immediacy of social media rather than the wisdom of the ages. Bridging this intergenerational divide is essential for building a more cohesive and compassionate society. We need to create more opportunities for meaningful interaction between generations. We need to encourage intergenerational mentorship programs where older adults can share their skills and experience with younger generations and where younger generations can learn from the wisdom of their elders. Ageism and public policy. Shaping a society for all ages. Creating a society that values and respects its older citizens requires more than just individual actions. It requires a concerted effort at the policy level. Governments have a crucial role to play in shaping a society that is inclusive and supportive of people of all ages. This means enacting and enforcing robust anti-discrimination laws that protect older workers from unfair treatment in the workplace. It means investing in programs that promote lifelong learning, enabling older adults to acquire new skills and remain active and engaged in the workforce. Furthermore, governments need to rethink their approach to retirement. Instead of viewing retirement as a hard stop at a certain age, we need to create more flexible retirement options that allow older adults to continue working if they choose to, while also providing adequate support for those who are no longer able to work. This requires a fundamental shift in thinking, away from a model that segregates people based on age and towards a model that recognises the value and contributions of people of all ages. The media's role. Challenging stereotypes, celebrating experience. The media has a powerful influence on shaping societal attitudes and perceptions. Unfortunately, too often the media perpetuates negative stereotypes about ageing, portraying older adults as frail, forgetful or out of touch. We need to see more positive and realistic portrayals of older adults in the media, showcasing their diversity, their resilience and their continued contributions to society. We need to see more older characters in leading roles, not just as grandparents or wise mentors, but as complex individuals with their own hopes, dreams and aspirations. This shift in representation is not about political correctness, it's about reflecting the reality of our ageing society and challenging the harmful stereotypes that fuel age discrimination. The media has a responsibility to promote understanding, empathy and respect for people of all ages. By challenging ageist stereotypes and celebrating the experience and wisdom of older adults, the media can play a powerful role in creating a more inclusive and equitable society. A call to action, building a more inclusive and respectful tomorrow. Combating age discrimination and creating a society that values the contributions of older adults is a collective responsibility. It requires action from individuals, employers, policymakers and the media. It requires a fundamental shift in mindset away from a culture that worships youth and towards a culture that embraces the richness and diversity of all ages. 
So what can you do? Challenge your own biases. Speak out against ageism when you see it. Support organisations that champion the rights of older adults. Mentor a younger colleague. Volunteer in your community. Make your voice heard. Together, we can create a world where age is not a barrier, but a badge of honour, where experience is valued, and where everyone, regardless of age, has the opportunity to live a fulfilling and purposeful life. The 50s, a crossroads of experience and opportunity. Age discrimination can feel like a sudden and unwelcome shift. You've spent decades building a career, honing your skills. You have a wealth of knowledge and experience to offer. This couldn't be further from the truth. The 50s are a time of incredible opportunity. You're at the peak of your professional powers, your experience is invaluable and your insights are crucial. Embrace this stage as a time to leverage your expertise. The crossroads of experience and opportunity await you. Navigating the 60s. Unique challenges and untapped value. As individuals enter their 60s, they often face a unique set of challenges in the job market. Age discrimination becomes more pronounced, making it difficult to find new employment opportunities. Despite having a lifetime of experience and a wealth of knowledge, they are frequently overlooked in favour of younger candidates. Stereotypes about older workers being less adaptable or technologically savvy persist, creating additional barriers to employment. However, the truth is that these individuals bring unparalleled value to the workplace. Their experience fosters a depth of understanding and insight that can only be gained through years of dedication and hard work. Inclusive hiring practices are essential to tap into the potential of older workers. Employers must recognise the benefits of a diverse age range within their teams. By embracing the expertise of older workers, companies can cultivate a richer, more dynamic work environment. It's time to challenge the stereotypes and acknowledge the significant contributions that older professionals continue to make. Their journey is one of resilience, perseverance and invaluable knowledge. Let's ensure that their legacy of experience is not only respected, but celebrated in the workplace. Fighting invisibility, overcoming bias in a youth-centric market. One of the biggest challenges facing professionals in their 50s is overcoming the perception that they are invisible in a job market that often prioritizes youth. This invisibility can be especially frustrating for those who are at the top of their game with decades of experience and a proven track record of success. The key to combating this invisibility is to make yourself visible. This means actively networking, attending industry events, and using online platforms like LinkedIn to showcase your skills and experience. Don't be afraid to highlight your age as an asset. Emphasize your experience, your maturity, your ability to remain calm under pressure, and your strong work ethic. These are all qualities that are highly valued by employers, regardless of their age. Remember, you have a wealth of knowledge and expertise that younger candidates simply don't have. Don't be afraid to own that experience and to showcase it to potential employers. Reinventing yourself. The power of adaptability and lifelong learning the world of work is changing at an unprecedented pace. Technologies are emerging, industries are evolving, and the skills that are in demand today may be obsolete tomorrow. This rapid pace of change can be daunting for professionals of any age, but it can be particularly challenging for those in their 50s who may feel like they're constantly playing catch-up. The key to thriving in this environment is to embrace lifelong learning. Make a commitment to continuously updating your skills and knowledge, whether it's through online courses, professional development programs, or simply by staying abreast of industry trends. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and to learn new things. The more adaptable and versatile you are, the more valuable you will be to potential employers. Remember, reinvention is not just about changing jobs. It's about evolving your skill set expanding your knowledge base and staying relevant in a rapidly changing world.
Leveraging your network, the strength of connections. As the saying goes, it's not what you know, it's who you know. This is especially true for professionals in their 50s who have had decades to build up a vast network of contacts. Don't underestimate the power of your network. Reach out to former colleagues, clients, mentors and friends. Let them know you're looking for new opportunities and ask for their support. Networking isn't just about asking for favours. It's about building and nurturing relationships. Offer your help to others, share your knowledge and expertise and be a valuable member of your professional community. Remember, the more connections you have, the more opportunities will come your way. So, get out there, network, build relationships and leverage the power of your connections. Championing your value, confidence and self-advocacy in the job hunt. One of the biggest mistakes that professionals in their 50s make is underselling themselves they may be hesitant to highlight their accomplishments or to negotiate for what they're worth, fearing that they'll be perceived as arrogant or out of touch. Remember, you have a lot to offer. Don't be afraid to champion your value. Highlight your accomplishments, quantify your successes, and articulate the unique skills and experience you bring to the table. Practice your elevator pitch, be prepared to answer tough interview questions, and don't be afraid to negotiate for what you deserve. Remember, Confidence is key. Believe in yourself, your abilities and your value and don't let anyone tell you that you're past your prime. The value of experience, a call to action. We've covered the legal framework, ethical imperative and societal cost of age discrimination. Experience brings immense value to the workplace and society. We need to challenge ageism in our workplaces and communities. Create a world where age is a badge of honor and experience is valued. Employers embrace age diversity and foster intergenerational collaboration. Experience is an asset, not a liability. Tap into the wisdom of your older workforce for a competitive edge. Embrace your age, celebrate your experience and never stop learning. Your journey to career excellence starts now. Feeling stuck or undervalued? You're not alone. At M. Joga Coaching and Consulting, we empower you to achieve career excellence. We offer personalized coaching tailored to your needs. Craft a compelling resume and cover letter. Develop effective interview strategies. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today.